It's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my whole life. I think uh, in the last 10 years, I never, I never feel as happy as I am now. I feel amazing, like really. It's been a really magical experience. It's like the most powerful experience of my life. I had a very great experience with ayahuasca. But you know, was uh, doing the endocentrum uh, cleansing. Just felt so much love, you know, so much love. I'm complete. Yeah, it's amazing feeling to be complete. And I do feel that I've hit a jackpot that way to come here to this place. Bendiga Señor esta copa. Bendiga Señor esta planta. Para que por medio de tu nombre y por medio de la naturaleza el cuerpo de este hermano sea limpiado y curado. The atmosphere is amazing. It's amazing. It's um, it's it's probably like the only place I can remember, especially for like a, a decent amount of time, that I that anyone can be completely themselves. My name is Tracy. Uh, I'm a psychologist from Austin, Texas. So this is my third time to La Luna. And then um, I started asking my questions. I started asking about the future. I started asking about the past. And I was able to travel into the future and see for myself what the future is like. It's helped me open up to new possibilities and not be so rigid with my thinking. Um, she's also helped me just accept things the way they are, accept what is. Um, I do a lot of Buddhism uh, type of studying. And it's great to read all of that in a book or from a teacher, but it's so different when you have a direct first-hand experience with ayahuasca, where you're actually getting tested and challenged. Can I really accept what is? Can I really let go of my expectations? Can I really let go of my preferences and just relax into this experience? Um, she, t she tests me that way. Um, I'm privileged to live a, a life where I don't get challenged like that very often. So I come down here to really test myself um, in these ceremonies. And the lessons that I get back are just, um, they just multiply. And I'll have insights and revelations while, while I'm here at La Luna. But then when I go back home, I'll start to remember other things that she's taught me. So acceptance is a big one. Um, not being so narrow in my, in my view of life. Um, yeah. And then coming here, being here, seeing the facility, meeting yourself and, and the people that, that, you know, help maintain the place, it's, it's really put me at ease. So um, I went in with no expectation. I trusted the experience, the medicine, and uh, I received some really wonderful benefits and life-changing experience for me personally, yeah. What stood out for me at La Luna was uh, the shaman there treated each one uh, individually and uh, you could basically have a one-on-one -on -one with him almost every other day or every day perhaps. Everything else was just so safe and so secure, um, but especially the, the, the vibe that the shamans are able to create in the maloka, in the ceremony space. Um, every time maybe if things would go a little, I was unsure about something or didn't quite know what to feel, I, I could just sense their work 
in the background um, with the Icaros and the Chacapa, like just, I knew that they were holding everything safely. Really connecting with uh, Maestro Don Benino and Jack, um, especially Don Benino, like so much reverence for, for Don Benino. Um, 80 years old, been drinking the medicine for more than 70 years and still like showing up for, showing up for the healing of of um, the people who come to this space. Um, and I definitely, you know, like, I, I like send that prayer out that he'll be able to continue this work for, you know, however, however long, um, you know, God allows him to. And um, just like blessing everyone who comes here and like having so much trust in, in his work because he is truly, truly, truly just a vessel of light and vessel of God. and. Yeah, just so grateful for Don Benino. And Jack and Guido and Leonardo and all the all the shamans and maestros um, who, who hold space here and hold hold space for our healing here. They're they're so good medicine people because they're coming from the nature and they will give you the nature and they protect you. They really, really protect me. La Luna de la Amazona seemed to be a real, you know, place where you get uh, pure shamanism. You can kind of just feel their experience and you can feel their energy and and you can feel them guiding the ceremony and it's like no two ceremonies are the same because it's like there's different people and, and everyone's dealing with different things in, in, in each ceremony and you can really feel them guide the ceremony based on what people are experiencing and um, and, 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 and I guess just the power of kind of Icaros, that was, that was something for me that I, I, I found to be quite a strong guide, um, particularly through some of those more challenging moments in the experience. And yeah, I've, I've just got so much love for, for, for the shamans um, and what they did here, because it, it was a really big part of kind of what I was able to get out of the experience. This, I realize this is really a, like a medicine. A lot of things that have been stored inside your body and not, that I might, might not have been a, a, aware of, but I can feel it now since it like left my, left, my, and left my body and left me. I can feel the difference. The very first night when I was having those experiences and you know, it was very hard for me to really like, it was like law of nausea. The third time it was like epic experience. It was like, Beyond ordinary, I got more than what I what I came for. Uh, you know, I, I came with a specific intention, and I got more than that. And there will be some those second guess yourself numerous times. That's not saying you won't. <laughs> but I think when all is said and done, uh, it will be a rewarding experience, and it, it's kind of a life changer. Life changer. De verdad que me voy llena, me voy llena de, de una fuerza vital que yo creo que rejuvenecí de los 72. Tengo ahora, sí, vaya, para no ser más, tengo 50, vaya. <risa> Ali la 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 ire, la 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 ire, la 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 ire, la 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 ire. My intention was just to clear, um, to clear a lot of old energy, things that I'd been holding on to. Um, I've been feeling really stuck and not 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 a lot of momentum in my life and just not really knowing what's my next step and where am I going and what am I supposed to be doing and I feel as though my time with the medicine really just cleared everything in my body my mind my spirit my emotions my relationships 
Limpio, limpio, kuna kurbe sinto. Chuya, 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 wauki sinto. Nimai, nimai. It's a lot of courage, but it's also extremely rewarding. And you don't even know, it's so hard to even describe the rewards because they're immeasurable, they're not, they're not tangible necessarily. Um, so I would say take it seriously. Um, it's not necessarily fun. <laughs> it's fun during the day talking to people and having meals together and, and going on little excursions, but the ceremonies aren't necessarily fun. So take it seriously. Um, realize that it's not it's not a recreational drug um, it is a medicine and um, you know just trust if you're if you're feeling that call if you're feeling like maybe you heard about it from a friend or maybe maybe a therapist recommended it or you read about it in a book or heard it on a podcast that there's a reason it's found you and we're all I'm so grateful to live in a time where someone like me can come down to the Peruvian Amazon and do this kind of work. Um, so, yeah, there's probably a reason that, that you're even thinking about it. Hay tanto amor aquí, se respira tanto lindo que la humanidad tiene. Que, que despertar y descubrir esto. Limpia, limpia, cuna, gurbecindo, de mi wauquisito medicina. Limpia, limpia, cuna, gurbecindo, de mi wauquisito medicina. Voy limpiando de mi mente, de mi cuerpo. Limpio, limpio, cuna, gurbecindo, ni más, ni más, ni más sucediendo. Cuna cuerbecito, doctor Manta. Yo protejo de mi cuerbecito con mis oraciones. Yo ilumino mi cuerbecito con mis oraciones. Doctorcito medicina. Ayahuasca, doctor Manta. Ni más ni más sucediendo. Ni más ni más cutibangi. In the remote Peruvian retreat of La Luna del Amazonas, I'm being handed a cup of ayahuasca, the most powerful psychedelic in the world, which according to the shamans here, can offer me a vision of my own death and afterlife. Salud. Salud, maestro. A lot of imagery that was really intense. Snakes, birds, ancient people, colors, so much color. All of the imagery was natural, was beautiful, 
it was profound, it was very terrifying. It was all those things, all at once sometimes. But it was bigger than me. It was much bigger than me. I saw death, I saw the dead. I saw people who had passed away. I saw my grandfather, but I didn't see them like ghosts, like a consciousness. It was just an after image. It was like everything that's here will go away and it will go into this big blender and be reused. I don't think I'll ever do it again. That's it. What I experienced in Peru is the distillation of centuries of Amazonian lore. The ayahuasca allowed the ancient people here, and for a brief time, me, to touch a hidden universe. It was the most religious experience of my life.